Russell uh, and other federations around. Here comes Burt Prentice right here. I already talked to him a little bit. Uh, he was not too happy, but uh, I see you. Did I hear you mention the name Curtis Thompson? Yes, I did. Why did you do that? That was for me to do. That was because my he's... surprise. It's none of your business. You are the most unethical, pitiful, horrible ring announcer, a commentator, whatever you are. You're the worst. That's supposed to be a, the best kept secret in Memphis wrestling. Now that goof Jerry Lawler knows, Jeff Jarrett knows that Curtis Thompson's in town. But what they don't know is that Curtis Thompson has a new attitude. What they don't know is that Curtis Thompson has the finest body in professional wrestling. What they do know now is that I am going to be in his corner in every match. You know, Curtis Thompson's been all over the world. But his problem has been he's been a nice guy. And we all know, nice guys don't finish last. He went to Atlanta and got used and abused. And you know, him and Todd Champion with no problem could have been the champions. But people are scared. But here in Memphis, where we can run over idiots like Jerry Lawler and Jeff Jarrett and get away with it every day, I'm going to unleash them. And ladies and gentlemen, when you see this powerhouse and this match in a few minutes, when I say the world's going to not only rank Curtis Thompson in the top ten, they're going to say, my God, where's he been all this time? Talk to these idiots. Talk slow, because they're real slow. Talk slow. Well, let me tell you something. He said it all. That's right. The people out here, they've taught me all over the world that nice guys, hey, they do finish last. And I'm not finishing last anymore. I don't want any of you idiots out here, any of you idiots out there, I don't want you to come up. I don't want you to autograph. I don't want you to clap for me. I don't want you to do one thing for me because if I want something, I'll reach out there and I'll take it. And speaking of taking it, Jerry Lawler, you got a little gold around your waist. If I want it, I'll reach out there and take it. And if you think any of your friends like Golden Boy, what's his name? Jeffrey Jarrett's going to reach in there and stick his nose in my business, then I'll reach up there and I'll bite it right off. And there's not one thing anybody can do about it. Take it back that camera up and you take a good look at this. Because I am. Wait a minute, Curtis. Now, all you husbands and all you jealous boyfriends at home, go get some ice water yeah. to cool the women down. Show them what this is all about. Take it off for the people. This is 200. The people are already fainting. And look at the ladies fainting over here. Get some ice water. Show them what it's about. Hey, Take it off. Let me tell you. This is 247 pounds of twisted steel. Excitement. And ladies, there ain't nothing like my sex appeal. So you fat Bill, Bill Barely, old men, you sit at home and drink your beer and eat your chips while your women sit at the TV and they drool all over me because I am the hottest thing going today. Can you imagine his body and Todd Champion's body in the same arena? Oh. Eddie Marlin, order extra security. This. Oh, it's holiday season. Uh, Bert what Prentice. a Christmas present. Bert Prentice, very happy right now. As, uh, Look at this He's got hey, Curtis, got Thompson. Know, like Curtis Thompson out here with the new attitude. Nice guys. Oh. All right, yeah, oh, here comes T.D. Steele. He's going to climb in there against right now. I think the fans have heard enough and would like to see him in action at this Show time. Show the ring one minute. Show the ring. Does this man think that's funny coming out here with a hard hat? Well, order him a tombstone. Curtis, destroy like you've never destroyed. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what it's all going to be about in Memphis wrestling. Happy New Year's early, Dave Brown. Well, we'll see. Into the ring right now, and we'll, uh, let's see him in action here. He, uh, quite frankly, he's signed on with Burt Prentice with this new attitude. Let's see if it makes a difference because... Uh, Curtis Thompson does not have the best career record of any wrestler you can think of, uh, to put it nicely, I guess. What? Snaps TD down to the mat right there. Yeah, he goes after TD. Still over warming up and exercising, and Curtis Thompson 
Caught it from behind. Peek still up and slams him, boy. They're going to weigh on T.D. still. There's T.D. with a big right hand. Burt Fred is loving it. He's at ringside. Cheer it on. Curtis Thompson. And uh, he covers still. One, two. Fix him up. He's got that same mentality that Todd Champion has that Fred wants to compare him to. Two. And releases the cover in there. Takes T.D. still. Throws him out on the floor. T.D.'s down, but not out yet. Look out. Here's Thompson down on the floor after him. Yeah, picks T.D. out. Slams it right onto that concrete floor. Still. Boy, he took a hard lick that time. Big body slam on him right on that hard floor out there. Curtis Thompson slams away with a big forearm on TV. Well, it's all been Curtis Thompson here so far. Shut up, Corey. It's magnificent. Look at this body. Now, we're not going to be responsible for all the injuries at home we're causing by the women fainting and falling on the hardwood floors, Dave Brown. I don't think you have to worry too much about that, Mr. Prentice. Come on, come on. Curtis Thompson. Get caught over there. Would you come do on, that Bert. for me? Get back over to the ring. Leave Man. us alone here. This guy is a pain, let me tell you. Hey, watch. Curtis Thompson, though, has taken charge of this match. And T.D. Steele is not a pushover, fan. T.D. Steele is tough. Oh, uh, yes, sir, he is. But uh, he can't get going today because he's just been all Curtis Thompson. Choking T.D. over there now on that middle rope. Curtis Thompson, boy, you put up with these guys like this, and Burt Prentice manages these guys. Thompson could be a fine wrestler. He's been in the USWA before, Dave, and a fan favorite, and uh, comes back now and says he don't want any hand claps, he don't want any applause, he doesn't want any cheers, he just wants to beat up on people, he says. All Covers right. T.D. He keeps wrestling like this and stays in the Burt Prentice stable. He's not going to hear much applause. He's going to hear more boos than anything else when he comes out of there. I guarantee you that. Boy, look at him just beat up on T.D. Stale. Curtis Thompson takes T.D. Throws him out on the floor again now. Out on the concrete floor. Yeah, he's had T.D. out on the floor a lot today, throwing him through those ropes, and even body slammed him down here on the concrete floor. T.D. struggling to his feet. And look at Prentice over insulting him there over there. Yeah. Found him to get back in the ring. T.D. Steele telling the referee, hey, back him up. Let me get back in here. Curtis Thompson. is there to help him into there. Oh, and he threw him. He just used his momentum into the ring and right out the other side. Yeah, right out on that floor. Yeah. Tough, tough day for T.D. Steele so far. Indeed, it's been all Curtis Thompson. That's him right there. And he's a fine specimen. You don't like his tactics or his technique in there at all. But he is a tough individual. Drops down off the ring with a forearm on T.D. Picks Steele up again. And boy, he just slams him right down. T.D. still having it tough from Curtis Thompson. Thompson rolls him back in the ring. He's been slammed on the floor twice. T.D. backs up, sets, tries to challenge Curtis Thompson. He's up on his feet. Thompson's got him in a headlock. Wow. Oh. T.D.T. on mm. T.D. still. Covers him one, two, and it's over with. Curtis Thompson gets the win. Well, T.D. still wasn't able to get going in that one. Over doing uh, Trying to get warmed up for the bout, and uh, Curtis Thompson nailed him from behind. Curtis and Thompson Curtis. off to a winning start here as Burt Prentice has him in his corner, and apparently he has instilled him with that Burt Prentice attitude of win at any cost. It's about to get real exciting. It's about to get real nasty. Finally, finally someone to get rid of Jerry Lawler. I wish I could. Well, we'll hey, see. Hey. Jerry Lawler, who's climbing into the ring right oh, now, man. as a matter of fact. He's standing up there. Why don't you talk to Jerry Lawler himself, as a matter of fact? Yeah. Got that unified belt. Well, Lawler challenging Curtis Thompson in there. 
Bert Prentice yeah, trying to hold Prentice. it back. Yeah. Yeah, well, you give uh, give Bert Prentice an assist there for some brain power anyway and uh, trying to make sure that Thompson doesn't get in there and go against Lawler right now. Jerry out. Set to go uh, in a match here in just a moment. Bert Prentice telling Curtis Thompson, oh, no, wait a minute. Holding Thompson back in there, and uh, they go ahead, and Prentice goes ahead and out of here. There's Thompson.